African continent has finally gotten the much-desired vaccines, but a new challenge is imminent, the shortage of syringes. So at the beginning, we were counting on 70% of the population worldwide being vaccinated, but we know that this number now is increasing with um, now countries introducing a third uh, dose and as well as countries starting to vaccinate uh, younger children. So there is a real risk of uh, having shortages of uh, syringes um, because where there's been a lot of effort to ramp up production of vaccines worldwide, this hasn't been done for, vac for syringes, uh, for syringe pr production. Auto-disabled syringes are those that can be disposed safely after vaccination without additional health protocol put in place to prevent reuse. So these are the type of syringes that we use typically in uh, developing countries for routine uh, vaccination. So if we run out of those syringes, there is a serious risk uh, that um, vaccination for children, routine vaccination for children, will be uh, affected. And sadly with that, we have the risk of having deadly diseases for children reoccurring. According to the World Health Organization, more than 6.8 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines are being administered globally per year. This is nearly double the number of routine inoculations delivered annually. 60% of uh, those syringes in the world are produced in India and in China. So these two countries have also been severely affected by the COVID uh, pandemic. So we are calling on governments as well as the private sector to ramp up production of, of syringes, but also diversify the production of syringes. So not only these two countries, but look at uh, production uh, lines possibly for Africa and, and in other countries. UNICEF is concerned that if this situation is not urgently dealt with, there's a risk that COVID-19 campaigns will slow down and that will likely prolong the COVID-19 pandemic. Yulisan Jamela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.